I have several things um, to this morning. Uh, just for uh, covering over Charlotte, North Carolina, um, okay. and pray for um, my family that we will grow um, in strength to, um, and that my children will continue to have the love of God in their hearts as they become, um, as they are young, young men. Mm. Yes, that's important. Ooh. And pray for me as I go through this promotion stage that my company will not withhold from me what I deserve. Mm. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Mm. That's, that's well, Shanji, you've got a lot going on there, and I thank you that you have called in to us and share that with us this morning. Um, We will definitely bring these things up as we pray this morning, lifting them up before the Lord. Um, It's important, as we always say on this profile, that we get together, we pray, we share with one another, we support one another. Um, So that is definitely, we thank you this morning for entrusting us with these prayer requests. I heard another bell. Tanisha. Good morning, Tanisha. How are you? Good morning. <clears throat> We've got a couple of people on the line already. Do you have any prayer requests that you'd like to let me know? Just put my a prayer for my sister. She had operation yesterday. Okay. What's your first name again? Tanisha. Okay. Tanisha. Okay, I have that. Thank you. And I know, Chuck, I heard you on the line. Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, we have some early people here waiting on us. So, (laughs) Um, I'm going to give it another minute or so. Hey, Chuck. Hey, how you doing? And please excuse my cough. This is this is me most of the winter when um, when the weather is cold. It's been warm, so it's actually getting better. But my voice is still not one hundred percent. How's everybody doing this morning? Oh well. Well, perhaps. <laughs> okay, it's just about five after. Um, Chuck, and I know you had a, a scripture that you wanted to read this morning. Do you want to just this out? I have one I'll read it a little bit later if you want to go first. Okay, before I start prayer, thank you for reminding me, Judith. Um, mm-hmm. We went over this this morning. You know, I've been... Uh, you know, if you follow me on social media, uh, a lot of people have been basically attacking me, uh, you know, being anti-Christ, using the Bible, um, you know, to be anti-Christ or anti-Jesus, and using the Bible, you know, to their advantage, basically, um, with the all-black type mentality you know, about uh, just being divided, us being divided from other races, like, you know, not racist, but other cultures, like the Caucasian mm-hmm. culture. So they use the Bible in order to, like, stay divided, in order to, um, you know, be help themselves to look smarter and stronger than the other. And I think that What's happening is, I know what's happening is, the enemy is using that. The A lot of y'all don't agree with me, but the Antichrist people have become the new racist. The Antichrist within our community have become the new racist. And what they do is, 
it's all black, 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 black. But that's not the kingdom of God. The kingdom of God wants everybody to draw into him, not just the black culture within Yahshua and, you know, the the Hebrew uh, religion or, you know, the uh, Israelite religion. He wants all people to draw into his kingdom. So, you know, a lot of people get offended by the things that I say and, you know, um, you know, use my my um, posts and stuff to their advantage. So I was reading a scripture today. It just came to me a lot of times in the morning when I wake up. Um, you know, I, I read a scripture. Scriptures get sent to my email. And God just told me to read this scripture. It was written by Paul. And I, brethren, when I came to you, came not with excellency of speech or of wisdom, declaring unto you the testimony of God. For I determined not to know anything among you, save Jesus Christ and him crucified. And I was with in weakness and in fear and in much trembling. And my speech and my preaching was not with enticing words of man's wisdom, but in demonstration of the spirit and of power, that your faith should not stand in the wisdom of man. Can anybody finish this? Does anybody know the scripture? Okay. But in the power of God, which means, and this goes for everybody, you don't have to be uh, have the best intelligence or have so many degrees or, you know, to walk in the kingdom of God. You're walking through faith of a mustard seed. So regardless, whatever God tells you to do, do it. If he's telling you to walk these streets and preach the word of God to these people who really need it, and if you're on social media, you see that they really need it, that people really need God at this time. And social media has taken over by storm with what the enemy wants out of people. It has taken over. Because people are putting the president before God. They're putting football before anything that's exciting within the media. They're putting before God. And we see it. So I'm going to go ahead and start this prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, I want to thank you, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name. As the ideas that you have brought me, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, I just want to thank you right now, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, for everything that you have done, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, for this prayer call, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, for everything that you have done, for single, saved, and serious, the Christian lounge experience, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, I want to thank you for everything you've done within Jennifer Cook, within Judy, within Roseanne, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name. Within uh, Jasmine, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, Jasmine Love. Within Pastor Lofton, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name. I want to thank you for Tanisha, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name. My cousin Tori, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name. Everybody that's on this prayer line that's been loyal, Heavenly Father, to this prayer line, Heavenly Father, as we know, Heavenly Father, that we needed more than just a Friday, Heavenly Father. We needed more than just a Wednesday, Heavenly Father. We needed more than just a Monday, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name. I want to thank you for stolen lunches, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name. Everybody that's walking within your kingdom, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, as we're out into the wilderness in this world, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name. The Bible speaks. Your word says, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, that you can be in the world but not of the world, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name. So I want to thank you, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, for taking things away from me, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, such as television, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, such as music, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, such as these things, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, so I can be aware of what's really going on and how the enemy is attacking, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, to warn my people, not only black people, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, but people of the world, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name. I come to you right now, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name.
name, within face of a mustard seed, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, that you step up, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, and show these people that are against your word, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, using myths, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, using other people that are against you, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, to define what they want to define off of what is not for you, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, what you haven't said, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name. I want you to use me right now, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, for I'm not a Bible scholar, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, but I'm a relationship scholar, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name. Because I talk to you every day, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name. I know who you are, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name. I know who you are if I saw you right now, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name. Through the Spirit, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name. So I pray, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, that you guide the people that are on this line, even people that are calling in, listening, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, just to see what this prayer call is all about, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name. Shut up! Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, right now in Jesus' name. I pray, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, for Donald Trump, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, with everything that he's going through, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, with people that's criticizing him, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, and his ghostwriters, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, with his, with his speeches, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name. For I don't follow him just like I don't follow Barack Obama, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name. I don't follow for Michelle Obama, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name. But I know he's in that chair for a reason, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name. So I just pray, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, that you come through him, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, as people need to know what you are doing, Heavenly Father, because that is not Donald Trump. It's something that you're trying to bring to the people, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, that they may not understand, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name. Maybe it's to get closer to you because the Bible says, draw unto me and I will draw unto you. And we know that you do things so that people can look at you at the end of the day, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, and ask why, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, the small relationship, we know why you do these things, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name. So who's ever on the line snoring right now, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, talk through them, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name. I pray, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, for everybody who's on the line who needs prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Whew. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you. Amen and amen. Amen. I think it's interesting because I know there's a couple of people who, who chimed in, bells were ringing while we were praying. So um, good morning. Thank you, Brandon, for that prayer. Thank you for your heart in that prayer that you are coming as God. And that's how God has asked us to come, just as we are. Um. I had a scripture this morning, and I thought it was uh, apropos. I'm going to pull up my little phone up this morning. Um, Brandon, I don't know if you can mute all the lines. I'm not sure if you know how to do that. I'm going to go ahead and mute. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm going to go ahead and read my scripture. And it comes out of James. And if anybody's familiar with James, James is a no-nonsense person in the Bible. He lays it out the way it is. He says if you have faith, you ought to have some works. He says things straight to the point. But the scripture that I had this morning was James 1, verse 2. Consider it nothing but joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you fall into various trials. Mm. Be assured that the testing of your faith through experience produces endurance, leading to spiritual maturity and inner peace. And let endurance have its perfect result and do a thorough work so that you may be, fe- may be perfect and completely developed in your faith, lacking in nothing. This morning... I just want someone to know God sees you in your trial. We're about to go through a trial in this country, and I'm not even going to mince words. It's going to be a trial. But we know that the perfecting of our faith, I see more people stepping up to the plate of being an individual responsible person because of the trial that they've gone through or the trial we're about to go through. And so I just want to encourage you, 
All things work together, brothers and sisters. All things work together. And we are here in order to encourage one another, to lift each other up, to be a support to each other, so that we are able to be the entire body of Christ. It is not a church building. It is the body of believers that support one another. I'm going to go ahead and start in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you this morning for yet another Friday that we're able to walk talk, get up, move, have our right mind, and be able to do the things we need to do. Dear Heavenly Father, we have so many on the prayer call this morning. I was not able to get all of the prayer requests, but the ones that I do have, I'm going to lift before you, Heavenly Father. Dear Lord, we thank you for what you've done. We thank you for what you're going to do. I know you as a God that provides. I know you as a God that shows up. I know you as a God that sees. I know you as a God that heals. In my own personal personal life, so I can call you that God. I can call you and say that you have those attributes because I've seen them in my own life, and I'm here to encourage those who may not feel as if they know that side of God, but I'm here to tell you, yes, that he is that God. We thank you, Lord, for what we're, all, we're going to be doing this weekend. We thank you for bringing us to the bottom of another week. We thank you, Lord, for everything that you've done to keep us in our right mind and health. Dear Heavenly Father, we even thank you for the person who looks like they're snoring on our line, Lord. We thank you for that because, Heavenly Father, we know that peace comes in sleep. And, Heavenly Father, we know that you're able to touch that person even when we're not there. But this morning, Lord, I have prayer requests before me this morning. I have prayer requests. Dear Heavenly Father, we have our sister Roseanne Fagans. I believe she's on the line, but Heavenly Father, she came to me this morning and she said, Judy, I have some prayer requests. Heavenly Father, she is asking that you come into her life and bless her exponentially as far as being able to be debt-free by 2018. Heavenly Father, we stand in agreement. This world is yours and the fullness thereof. Every hill, every mountain belongs to you. We, You call us that we should prosper as our soul prospers. And if this is her goal and she has a plan, we ask that you bless the plan. The Bible says God, man makes his plan, but God orders our steps. So Heavenly Father, we ask that you order her steps, Lord, so these things can be accomplished. She also comes before us, Lord, with healing needs, Heavenly Father. Her daughters who have gone through different different situations in their life, and I don't want to call out their personal need as far as medical needs, Lord, but you know those needs, Heavenly Father. You know what they need. You know their body, and you know their the, the things that need to happen. You know the specialists that need to come into their life. You know the medical team that needs to come into their life. Touch that medical team's mind, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Bring up the things that they need to know to help these young women be restored to their health, Lord. Bring them up and have them be able to walk. They already, I've already heard of their spirit and their heart, the things that they're willing to do when they face obstacles, Heavenly Father. So I ask that you bless these young women. Bless Bless them in their minds, bless them in their spirits, and restore their bodies in the mighty name of Jesus. Bring everything that needs to be wrong. If it's medication, if it's natural products, whatever it is, Lord, I ask that you just open up your storehouse and pour out a blessing on these women that they will not even be able to receive it, and that the praise report we get back about the movement, about the, oh, Heavenly Father, what you've done in my own life, I'm asking for you to do in these women's life, raise them up and give them a testimony that no one will even be able to believe. I ask that in Jesus' name, Heavenly Father. Dear Lord, we also know that she's working these jobs. She has a full-time job, a part-time job. Heavenly Father, give her the strength and the energy. Give her the strength and the energy as she is also in school. Heavenly Father, anoint her mind. Anoint her body. Give her perfect peace. Give her rest when she needs it. Give her the energy when she needs it to meet these goals and these demands. She has put this before you, Lord, and we stand in agreement. We stand in the gap and ask that you provide whatever she needs, Lord, as these days go forward. Heavenly Father, we also have Roxy, who she has just asked for something simple and yet profound. She has asked for peace and prosperity for everyone, Lord. We thank you, Lord, as we move into an administration that may not foster peace, but we know you are the Prince of Peace. We know that you can bring peace and rain it down. We know that from our Old Testament that you can stop armies in their track. We know that you can cover up the enemy. You know that you, we know that you can do all these things. We have these stories, and they're not just fables, Heavenly Father. They 
God, to make our faith strong so we know that you can bring peace. We know that you can bring prosperity. Open our minds, Lord, that we can see what's around us, what is in our hands, Heavenly Father, that we can make our lives prosper. Sometimes it's not about going over hill and dale and other places, but sometimes right in our own community, in our own neighborhood, in our own home, we have the ability to gain wealth, Lord. So we ask that you open our minds, give us wisdom, give us the ability to see what it is that we can do. Bring the, the imagination and ideas, Lord, that we need. Bring the people who will be able to say, I see that too. What do we need to do? Bring the people need partnerships and collaborations. Bring it, Heavenly Father. As Single Savior Series goes out to reach out to sponsors, Heavenly Father, make the mindset of those people understand our mission. As we have other people on this call with other projects and goals and dreams, Heavenly Father, we ask that they reach the people and meet the people that will meet them in their need. Dear Heavenly Father, we also have Yolanda. She's calling in not only on her, not because of herself, but for another gentleman who's going through medical needs. Open the eyes of that man, Heavenly Father. You have the ability to bring wisdom. And this is something I pray all the time. It is not just intelligence, but it is wisdom that we need in this world. Help this gentleman understand what he needs to do about his medical issues. Get him to the proper people that will not have him turned around, but will have him reaching up and looking up towards you. Heavenly Father, bless him in his body, heal him in his body, but also bring him the team that he needs, bless their minds and anoint them to help him in his situation. Dear Heavenly Father, we also have Chandra on the line. She has come to us with a couple of different things, and I'm going to start with her. Thank you, Jesus, for the promotion. We thank you for the elevation. We thank you for the position that you have put her in. And now, anoint the people around her. As a child of God, she walks in in power. Anoint the people around her to not withhold from her any good thing. And the Bible says you can cause it that no. Every good thing comes to us. You're the father of it. So continue to have our eyes reached up to you, looking up to you, Heavenly Father, to say that my help comes from the Lord. But we ask, Lord, that you now anoint those people. Make it be a miraculous situation that those who are against her cannot to not prosper, Lord. Those that want to rise up and say we're not going to do will suddenly have a change of mind. Those who want to come up and maybe say, no, I'm not sure, that they will all turn around and know that Chandra is the person that they need to support. We ask those things that she gets that support she needs in that position. Also, Lord, she asked for covering over Charlotte, North Carolina. We know the different issues that Charlotte has. We know that there are powder kegs in some communities. We know that there's fear in other communities. But Heavenly Father, we come against that. We come against that you are the Prince of Peace. You are God of power and of might. We come against anything and any division that will cause hurt and violence to people. Heavenly Father, we rebuke it in Jesus' name. We call down a blanket of peace even as there's a march on Saturday. Heavenly Father, we call down peace. We call down peace. I'm going to say it again. We call down peace in Jesus' name, dear Lord, that nothing, nothing erupts in this city. You can come over the city. We walked in this city said God belongs in Charlotte and we believe it, Heavenly Father. And as we walk through our days, continue to be with us. Continue to shine through us. We are light set on a hill, Heavenly Father. We are salt in this earth and therefore wherever our foot should try, we can bring peace. Dear Heavenly Father, I also come to her that she prays over her sons, over her children, that even though they were young and had a knowledge, she wants them to stay within the knowledge. Well, our Bible clearly says when we train up a child in the way it should go, when he is grown, he will not depart. We pray that promise, Lord. We pray over her sons. I pray over my sons, Heavenly Father. I pray on anybody who has children that train them, Lord, and that they will not depart. And even if it looks like they stray, I have a son. He is out in California, and he is strayed from the knowledge. But I continue to get on my knees. I continue to call out his name. I continue to know that I gave him the word. I gave him you. He gave his heart to the Lord when he 
he was 14. And so I'm praying for all of these children that when they grow, that they will not be able to impart. Maybe it's got to be later on in maturity, but they will continue to walk in the knowledge that their families have given them, dear Lord. They will continue to walk in the knowledge of knowing who you are. They will not be strayed by this world. They will not be pulled away. I call this thing in Jesus' name over my son, over Shanta's son, any child that is out there, Lord, that has got the knowledge and they have come away, Lord, bring them back. If they're not going away, keep them, Lord, at your feet. Heavenly Father, give people that will continually turn them back to the Lord. And say, Heavenly Father, we've had so many others that are calling in, and I don't have all of their information. I don't have all, but I also have Tanisha who is calling for her sister, I believe, who had a surgery yesterday. She's calling for a speedy recovery, dear Lord. Again, the healing power in you is nothing more than a prayer away, nothing more than a touch of the hem of your garment, Lord. We can touch and go to the throne room any time, Heavenly Father. We have the power that was resurrected, Jesus, from the dead, flowing in us in the Holy Spirit. And therefore, Lord, we have the ability to call on you in the mighty and matchless name that no, there's no other name above it, Jesus, to call down healing. I pray a speedy recovery for this young woman. I space that she'll be able to say, the doctors will say, we're not sure why she's so ready and so quick. Heavenly Father, we want down these praise reports because all it does is bring you glory. Heavenly Father, I always I want to bring you glory. I want to bring you praise. I want to bring you everything. And I know everything, everyone on this call has the same feeling, Heavenly Father, that we want to be able to praise you. We don't always just want to look at problems and situations, but we want to see results. And we know there is no one else that can give it to us but you. No one else, Heavenly Father. And so we lift this up, all the other prayer requests on this line, dear Lord whether they're spoken or unspoken, whether I know about them or not, you are there with that person. You see their heart, their mind, their thoughts. You know what they need, and I ask that you give them the needs and the desires of their heart. The Bible says, seek ye first, and these people have woke up early in the morning seeking you. So when we seek you first in your kingdom and all your righteousness, the desires of our heart, are something that you take seriously, that you want to be able to give us when you see us seeking you. And dear Heavenly Father, I call these things, I call the people's names on this line, Roxy, Chandra, Yolanda, um, Tanisha, Brandon, I believe Roseanne, Jennifer on this line, anybody else's name I haven't mentioned, God, you know who they are, and I ask that you bless them exponentially, Lord, and meet their, meet their needs in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 And uh, if anybody else has a prayer request or anybody wants to come in and pray. And pray with us, please do. Mm. Um, okay. This is, good morning, this is Tori. How are you doing? Good morning, Tori. I was hoping you were going to be on the line with us this morning. <laughs> I, I don't I, know who Jan was on the line here this morning, but she called me early to make sure I have given you, I will give you this message that um, Ms. D is going to call you sometime either this morning or tomorrow morning. There were some questions that she had that Roseanne could not answer, and so I believe she's going to call you directly. But thank you so much for coming on the line with us again. Well, you're welcome. I um, I just <clears throat> want to say um, it was there was a, a situation where my son got out of the hospital, and I'm grateful mm. for that. He did try to go back to school, even with his jaw wired, and mm. I pray for that. Um, but I pray most of all for the situation at hand. Um, <clears throat> there was another child picking on my autistic child, mm. and they hit my child. And it sent him over the edge into a rage. And instead of the administrators coming to my son's rescue, they called the police and had my baby arrested. And he's only 12. They handcuffed my child. So I pray for the administrators at his school. I pray for 
the officer that arrested my baby. And I I ask God to please cover not only my child, but every every child that has to face the world that is <clears throat> no longer an understanding world. I pray for the the parents of the six year old that was at the bus stop mm-hmm. and the dog attacked the child and killed it. And another child that is in the hospital fighting for their lives as well. I even pray for the owner of the dog. I pray for peace like no other because this world truly needs it. It's not a world that I was born into that I remember, and it's gotten so much worse that now when you send your kids, you have to ask God to please cover this child and bring it home because you don't even know if that child going to come back home that day. And it's sad. It's disheartening because I, I, I don't remember being my, I, I don't remember my parents being afraid for us this at this extent when I was a child going to school. Things with times were so different then. And, and um, I also ask, you know, I ask you all to keep us in prayer as Ronit go undergo a third surgery. Um, and I ask that God brings into our lives some someone genuine that oh, that can that is willing to help us. I also I wanna pray for and and extend a genuine thank you. I met a Uber driver that has been taking us back and forth and mm-hmm. when he know I didn't have food in my home to feed my kids. This man mm-hmm. Asked me, he asked my son, because this is unfamiliar territory to me. I have never been not able to feed my children. And with me being sick and the doctors, me not being able to go to the doctor, and the doctors, when I went yesterday, they told me, you know, Miss Dukes, you're losing weight. And I said, yeah, yeah I'm sure I would, because I, I don't have money to feed me, nevertheless, my kids. So this Uber driver says to my my son says he asked my son what did he eat for breakfast. My son said there's nothing in my mama's house. This man not only agreed to take my son back and forth to school, knowing I didn't have the money to pay him. This man went and bought me a little bit of grocery, and he said to me, I know it's not enough to feed you and these kids, but I want you to know that I do care that y'all not eating. And I thank God for this man. I really do. Because I don't know him and he does not know me, but Lord, I ask that you continue to bless him, his household, his marriage, because him helping me, I see is causing a strain on his family. And, And I don't want that. I don't want that. Right. So, well, um, I tell you, Tori, we got, we thank God for that. The Bible says often we we entertain angels unawares, and He has been an angel to your family, and so we thank God for Him, um, and again for Him to use wisdom as He tries to help you, uh, along with the other things He has going on. And um, we we're, we're sorry. I'm going to be praying over that situation with your. Um, son that has autism. I have two sons that have autism, and so I completely understand bullying and the difficulties that we go through. Um, again, Miss D should be calling out to you, and I want to make sure that she knows. Please tell her everything so she has the understanding of all the different services you need. Mm-hmm. Now, I don't know what is going on since your son was arrested. But Brandon or Chuck, can you please connect her with John Burnett? I know he has another case um, mm-hmm. here in North Carolina, mm-hmm. um, w- helping a family where um, there's been some difficulties in the school. He's across nine or ten states. I'm sure he can come where you are okay. and make sure that your child 
receives representation support in that whole, when we have to face the criminal justice system, he is my go-to person. He's a civil rights activist. And I know already that he's taken on another case. So, um, Chuck, please get that information to her about John Burnett. You know, we, um, Rosemary, she's still on the line. She does a prayer on Saturdays for children. But she has really in, impressed upon me how much we have to pray for our young people, how much we have to cover them in prayer. And um, I don't know if she's on the line. She would be a wonderful person. But at the same time, I know the need. I raised mine until 20 and 24. So, but I remember, I remember the days of sending my child out and not knowing if they would be safe. So I'm just going to quickly breathe a word of prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for Tori on this line. She has been so consistent bringing us praise reports, prayer requests, updates on her situation. And we thank you, Lord, for the angelic person that came into her life that is providing, that is trying to close the gap of what she needs. We thank you for Ms. D that's going to be reaching out to her to see what other sources of resources we can get for her. But, Lord, I ask that you cover her children. I ask today. Lord, that you put a hedge of protection in Jesus' name around these babies, Lord. We're going to connect it with someone that can help her with the criminality case or whatever they may have, but we also need people there to go and talk to that administration, Lord. She needs an advocate where she is that can go in and represent her and let them understand we are not going to tolerate that you will not abide and protect this child. Say, Heavenly Father, we ask and we pray for these things. Cover Tori mom. Keep her together, Lord. She has so much strain on her. She's losing weight, Lord, so maintain her body and everything that she needs in order to continue to keep going. But, Lord, we ask that you cover these babies. Cover the ones that was mauled and that was mauled. I believe that that child was killed, but Heavenly Father then go and comfort that family. Dear Lord, I did read about that story. But dear Lord, I tell you that we have children. You said suffer the children to come unto me and forbid them not. And therefore we're bringing these children, Heavenly Father, before you. Little ones that depend on us, that depend on their teachers, that depend on adults. Keep them from all hurt, harm, and danger. Cover them. The bullies, Lord. We ask that you rebuke this bullying, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name. Rebuke this teasing. Rebuke any physical violence that should come up against these children. Cover them as they're out and about, giving their minds to learn, Lord. That should be their only concern and when they can play, not worrying about who's coming against them, Lord. So we rebuke this spirit, Lord, this spirit of bullying, of teasing, of hurting one another. Cover her children from the crown of their head to the sole of their feet. As this one has his joy all wired, Lord, we ask for speedy recovery and healing in his body so that he can get back to normal. And again, cover Tori's mind, Lord. Keep her thoughts on you. Let her know that she has a refuge in you. I thank you that you sent that man just to be as a sign to say, God, sees you in your situation, and he is able to, again, provide the miraculous in whatever it is you need. So, dear Heavenly Father, I thank you for her being on the call. We pulled up on every, put up everything before you in your master's name. And, Heavenly Father, we wait for you to come through and do what you know, I know you can do. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 The children. Um, yes. Tori? Yes. Um, I'm giving you my phone number. Will you give me a call once we get off the line? Yes, ma'am. Who is this? Um, Shonda Tilson. Shonda. Thank you, Shonda. Okay. Thank you. Um, my number is um, 714. Uh, give me one second. Let me get a paper. Just a okay. paper. Okay. What is this? 704. 704. Uh-huh. Okay. 7796. Yes, ma'am. Three four nine one. Okay, I got it. Shonda. Make sure you give me a call um, when you get off. When we, when we get off this call. Thank yes. you. You're welcome. Thank you. We we appreciate you, Chandra. Thank you for that. Making yourself available. Is there anybody else who would like to pray? I know our, our calls are the long this morning. We had so many that called in. But if anybody would like to pray, um, any other prayer requests? 
or praise reports, we'd love to hear it. So I, I think the one who's snoring has a praise report. <laughs> so we don't have one next Friday, I promise you. We say, I thank you for that gentleman. What is his name? So we can, I can continue to pray and bless him. What is his name? Do you know his first name? Which one? Hmm? Uh, I don't know who that is. It's probably somebody that's been challenging me on Facebook, you know, all okay. this time, you know, using the Bible. No, I was talking to Tori. I was saying, what is the gentleman's first name that is helping her? Oh, his name is Stephen. Stephen Pringle. Okay. Mm-hmm. We're, we're going to call out his name. Thank you, Jesus, for Stephen. We're going to say that right <laughs> now. I, I have my children trained. When something happens, we stop immediately and say, thank you, Jesus, for mm-hmm. Stephen Pringle. But I'm going to continue to call out him because he is taking from his home to give to someone else. That is nothing but what we are called to do as people. I don't even know what his religion is, but he's acting on behalf of God. And so I thank mm-hmm. you for him. Oh, Lord, I thank you, Jesus, for him. Well, if um, there's no other persons that need to say anything, have a word, if not, we're going to go ahead and close. Um, Chuck, you can close this in prayer. Um, Chuck, so sorry to interrupt again. No, 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 go ahead. I wasn't going to say anything this morning, and I wasn't going to pray, but I see the prayers going forth this morning, and I see how Judith and Chuck, they always drive for the singles in order for us to have, you know, uh, somewhere to go to get uh, prayer, to have outlets, to have events to do. And I just want to pray over you guys this morning um, for, for just you know, looking out for the singles and trying to make an impact on the city of Charlotte and surrounding areas. Father God, we thank you for this day, Lord. God, we thank you, oh God, for your abundance. We thank you for your peace, your joy, your love. God, we thank you for being God in our life. God, we thank you for your purity and your holiness, God. My own more God, as we come to you, Lord God, we thank you for the path that has already gone forth. God, we thank you for that you continue to be with Chuck and you continue to be with Judas as they build this single ministry, oh, Lord God. Oh, God, right now, in the mighty name of Jesus, that we ask that you send funding from the north, south, east, and the west, God. Direct your arrow, Lord God. Oh, God, to touch the hearts, oh, Lord God, that need to be this ministry in the mighty name of Jesus, God. God, increase, not just a little, God, but overflow, God, in the mighty name of Jesus, that even it will move back South Carolina, past South Carolina, oh, Lord God, to Georgia. Oh, Lord God, all up the East Coast, God, the West Coast, God. God, you in the mighty name of Jesus, oh, Lord God. That you yes. Judith, yes. oh, Lord God, to do exactly what you have called them to do for this ministry, oh, Lord God. God, we actually have you over their household, God. Oh, God, that they have that in the mighty name of Jesus, God. Held up to them, oh Lord God. God, we ask them to receive this release to their hand, God. Cover their families, cover their direction, God. God, any word spoken against this ministry, God, get now in the mighty name of Jesus, God. Jesus, thank you, Lord. Oh Lord God. God, we ask right now that you continue to send peace, joy, that you continue to send singles, oh Lord God, to support this ministry, Lord God. All these things we ask you in Amen. 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 Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Amen. 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 This is Brother Ernest on the line. I finally made it on the line, but good morning to everybody. Happy Friday. How's everybody doing? Have a blessed one. Thank you for calling in. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I just got to just put one prayer request out and, and prayer on me because I think I'm out of Locked my hip out while I was on the road. But uh, anyway, uh, said our prayers to me. I got to go out to the medical facility today and check my hip out. I think I might have threw my hip out. 
I've been going about a month. I'm back in town, but I got hip problems and knee problems and everything else. But that ain't nothing, nothing but the devil trying to put me down. But I'll be okay to come back up. So I'm going to need prayer on my, my condition to see what's going on with my, my health body. And so as well as my business, though, but you got to keep moving. And I, I pray in the Lord to keep me moving. And uh, that's where I am. So. Well, Brother Ernest, we thank you for calling in, and we'll, we'll lift you up in prayer as far as the, the, the pains and the aches in the body. I, I, I understand that. I know how that can be a, a distraction from what you have to do. But, you know, you're single-minded. If you're single-minded in the Lord, the Lord will continue to support you and keep you going even with those things. I, I've done that. I've continued to move. So um, I'll just brief you quickly, um, trying to lift you up in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we have Ernest on the line this morning. We thank you for his presence. We thank you that he was able to call in. He's calling in, asking God to continue, that you, Lord, continue to bless his business, even as he goes through some physical setbacks, Lord, with the hip, Lord, with the knees. But, Lord, we know that you are able to get into every sinew and muscle of a body and change it, Lord. I am a witness of that. And so, therefore, Heavenly Father, I call with my own witness to stand with what you have said, that you, by your stripes, we are healed, Heavenly Father. And I ask that you go ahead and touch his body in Jesus' name so that he will be able to do what he needs to do in all power and might and strength, Lord. You call our men to be strong, Lord. And so, therefore, he's standing in faith with you, with us, asking you to bless his body, cover him, keep him from all pain, and allow him to continue to go on. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you for the job and the work that you've given. You gave work to man first before you even gave him women. So I understand I want you this morning just to continue to bless him, show him favor, bring the prosperity, bring the ability to continue to grow and thrive in his business, Lord. And he, therefore, is a blessing to others as you bless him. And we ask all these things in Jesus' name. We pray. Amen and amen. Amen. Well, I know I'm going to be praying for the person snoring because I just love him this morning. I said, you know what, Heavenly Father? I just love this person. Not sure who it is. But you picked us this morning to just share <laughs> your know, time with us. I just love it, God. I say, I, you know, you have to have a sense of humor and not take things so seriously. But I'm not sure who it is. Bless him in the mighty name of Jesus. <laughs> well, so right. I don't know, you know, whether he's doing it intentionally, whether they're doing it intentionally or not, sometimes God will be him because the devil thinks, that he could just come in and distract what we are doing through God. But God has Amen. a plan. You might, you might come on and you might snore. You, know, you might use this person to snore, but I will use this person to have a testimony. Or I will use this person to find a way to draw in to me. So whatever you have for good, devil, God has for good. I mean, whatever you have for bad, God has for good. Amen. Because when you have that, you already know that God is doing something. You already know that God is going somewhere with what we're doing. You already know. Because what if you try to you go forward in life, what are you gonna run into? You're gonna run into tough times. You're gonna run into, times. You're gonna run into red lights. You're gonna run into yield signs. But you still move forward. And, of course, the enemy is going to try to blind you like you always told me. The enemy can see your your past and your present, but he can't see your future. You know why? He's afraid of your future. He's afraid right. of the story whatever you're going through. He's having you to go through whatever you're going through for a reason. There's a reason why the enemy is attacking you. Yeah, right, right, right. Amen. He's scared of what God is doing for you. He's scared of what God is about to do within your life, within your family, through our family. I receive it. I receive it. To us. So don't worry about it. Let them soar. Let them curse. Let them yell. We need that because we need to know that God is showing up on this prayer line. Because somebody here is on the line is denying this prayer line and against this prayer line, and God is showing up through this prayer line. Amen. 
Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. I heard several bells. I don't know if there's anyone still who has prayer requests, praise reports. We're, we're actually going over time, but, we, you know, the prayer line is open. So if people have to drop off because they're at work, we understand. But if other people have called in, if there um, is anyone who needs to have a prayer request, please speak up. We're here. Well, we got we got a job while you at your job right now. Somebody is at your job needing prayer, and they're right in front of you looking at you, but they might need prayer. Yeah. You know, I know some of y'all are at work right now. BB Mobley. Some of y'all are on, you know, at work. I know some of y'all are in order to not to pray to God just because of somebody else might think I know, but I'm here to tell you right now. God is in the midst. Amen. Amen. God is in the midst right now. You clearly see it. You clearly see it. They is really asleep. They are asleep. I feel official now. I don't know about anybody else, but I mean, I feel like we all we started a church because we got our official person who done fell asleep in the middle of service. <laughs> Yeah. I was trying to think of what can you, what can you, because I, cause I know somebody when they first called in, they sound like they were half asleep, and I'm just trying to think of what can you do because, you know, somebody, they call in, you know, genuinely with a need for prayer and desire for prayer, yeah. but they, you know... Well, the thing is, on this line, we would have to mute everyone, and we don't want to do that, or we... I don't think we can mute individual call lines to find out who the person is. So I didn't want to mute everyone. Um, but if 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 there's anybody else, you know, I know this is this is just Satan trying to distract because we have had so many callers on this line. But we are seriously here for you. Um, if anybody else has anything that they would like to add. Well, you know what? I'll go ahead and, and, and close. And basically, what we can do is we can close. I don't know if I can call back in. If, if anybody wants to call back in, we might be able to clear everything and then call back in. If anybody wants to do that. Because we're here as long as you need us. Yeah, well, just go ahead and, and, and close, and then, like I said, we'll open the line back up if anyone feels that they would like to call back in again. We'll be here, and we'll see if we can um, right. we can give us a clear, quiet line. Right. Judy, but like yes. I said, like I said, like I said, this is needed. You might not see it now, but you'll see it sooner or later. This is needed. This no, that's person, what I said. We can enemy. we can open the line back up. We can just yeah, we'll close line. this call momentarily and then open it back up. We'll call okay. back in. If anybody else wants to call back in, we'll be here. But just go ahead and close us in prayer, and then we'll come back on. Okay. Now, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, we want to thank you, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. I personally want to thank you for this person snoring, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, or lying, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, because you are saying something through this person, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, that we might not have passed on to yet, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, but we know, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, that you're in the midst of this world, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. This has not been done before, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. So I just want to thank you, as we want to thank you, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. Two or more that gathered, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. The Holy Spirit shows up, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. And we know that the Holy Spirit is in the midst, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. So I want to thank you, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. For doing the wrong this line, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. I want to thank you, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. But Tori, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, for everything that you're doing through her, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. For we know, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, that the enemy is doing the same thing to distract her because she has a calling, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. She might not know what it is just yet, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. But we know, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, that it's about to come to her, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. What her calling is, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. I want to pray for her mother, Heavenly Father, 
but is also going through something, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. As we all come upon you, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, I want you to cover everybody with on this line. When they come up, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, I want you to know, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. Yeah, we, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, are coming to you as one, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. I want to thank you, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, for everybody that's distracted with their politics, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. As you use Donald Trump, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, to say, don't look at Donald Trump, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. Look at me. I am your first, your last. And your outline on me, the Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. I'm the one that has all the answers, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. Donald Trump might be a resource earthly, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. But I'm a source earthly, Heavenly, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. And if I'm getting to my kingdom, you have to go through my son, Jesus Christ, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. So I need you to apply your life to him, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, in order to get to me. Because the Bible says, in order to get to the kingdom, you have to go through me, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. So I just pray and I just want to thank you for what you are doing, not now, but right now, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. I want to thank you in my personal life, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, as you use me as an example, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. And I pray that you continue to use me, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, for I might not have the best talk or the best talk. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, but people see what you are doing within my life, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, upon scripture, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, that I don't even know about yet, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. So I just want to thank you, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, because there's for some reason that I've been attacked on social media, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. And Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, if I wasn't doing nothing right, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. People wouldn't pay me any attention at all, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. So I want to thank you for the time of time, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, that everybody's investing and attacking me, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. I want to thank you, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, for duty, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, for keeping me strong, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, through my personal life, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, and through my spiritual life, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. And through single saves and serious and Christian lounge experience, I want to thank you for my sister Jennifer, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, for holding me accountable, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, and keeping me strong within you, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. I want to thank you for her prayers, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. I want to thank you for Shonda, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, for lifting up single saves and serious, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. As we do need money, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, to keep us going, Heavenly Father, with these events. We need sponsors. We need investors. We need donators, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, to keep us going, not only through Charlotte, but all around the world, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, so where we can travel, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, and show our ministry, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, and what we're doing within Christ, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. For well, you know you gave me this idea for a reason, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. Amongst other ideas, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. They say don't bring it out in the atmosphere or the devil will attack. Well, I'm asking you, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, to keep my play uplifted, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. If things went wrong, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, because somebody is dying to hear my story. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. I want to pray for my books, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. I want you to cover everything that you have in store. My album, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. I'm putting it out there in the atmosphere right now, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. Everything that you have in store for me for 2017 that I ain't even prayed for, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. That I haven't even thought of, our Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. Such as a supervisor position that I have that I ain't even prayed for, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, but somebody prayed for me, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. So I just pray, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, that you keep me lifted in strength, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, as I go out into the wilderness, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, that they be aware, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, as you know I don't go to politics, Heavenly Father, 
Donald Trump ain't got no answers for me, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. Barack Obama certainly ain't got no answers for me, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. George Bush ain't have no answers for me, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. No president I've ever known, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, even when I was paying attention to him, didn't have the answers that I needed, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. The Cowboys ain't have no answers for me, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. The Steelers ain't have no answers for me, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. Pastors ain't have no answers for me, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. Trap breath ain't have no answers for me, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. Yes, Everything Lord, that the Lord. Jesus, mm-hmm. Jesus, Jesus. The sections, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. The sections Father. within the people, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, that are just sitting there, just holding people in bondage, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. But we know mm-hmm. clearly it's the Spirit, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. I pray over them. Heavenly Lord. Father, in the name of Jesus. Yes, Even Lord. when they ain't praying for themselves, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. Whether we call you Yahshua, yes. whatever we call mm. you, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. The name above all names, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. We call upon you, Heavenly yes, Father, in Lord. the name yes. of Jesus. Mm. Not now, but right now. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. Mm. We scream, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. I scream for the man screaming, <laughs> Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. As I did my daddy, Heavenly mm. Father, as I do my mother, Heavenly Father, as I do my cousin, and my aunt, and my uncles, Heavenly Father, yes, 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 yes. Heavenly Father, I do. Heavenly Father, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Mm. Oh, Hallelujah, hallelujah. Mm. you were going to close and the spirit done got a hold of you in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you. We thank you, Heavenly Father. Okay, everyone, this is one of our longest calls we've ever had. I'm going to go ahead and release everyone. Be covered, be safe, be blessed. Um, We will open the line up again. If anyone wants to call back or if any new callers come, we'll be here for a little bit longer. But be safe this weekend, and in Jesus' name, everyone, have a good morning and have a good day. Bye-bye. Good day. Bye-bye. Yes.